Hey everybody, Rob Mullins here, and welcome to another jazz piano tutorial. And you probably saw in the thumbnail, I was doing this Vulcan thing, the live long and prosper thing. And, you know, that takes us right into the grouping for pentatonic scales, because you got to think in these groups, fingering wise, when you're playing something like a five note scale, there's five fingers on your hand, including your thumb. One, two, three right? That's these three right here. And then one, two. And when it comes to the D minor pentatonic scale, that fingering seems to work really well for me. So if I play a D and an A here, just to nail down my tonality, I'm going to go one, two, three, right? And then I'm going to go one, two. So it's a group of three, right? That's your group of three there. And then a group of two. Not using the fourth or fifth fingers, but I'm just playing these groups. And one of my early teachers said, anytime you want to learn to play a scale, uh, you know, a group of notes, play all the notes at once with all your fingers so your hand gets used to that area. So there's the first three notes. That's one, two, three. And then here's one, two. That's the next group. Next group. And then one, two, three again. And then one, two. Right now, this isn't the only way to do this, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is dealing with something that's all white keys because there's no black key reference point. So, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and if you end on the D on the top, that's one, two, three. Now, nobody really can agree on the origins of the pentatonic scale because, and just doing a little research about this, they said that pentatonic flutes were found, five-note flutes were found before there was any human able to write anything down. Um, Pythagoras had his idea, which was the five-note scale, and penta, of course, stands for five, one, two, three, four, five. That's the D minor pentatonic. And that's also the relative minor to the F major pentatonic. But apparently when these ancient flutes were found at burial grounds, they were tuned to a pentatonic scale. And I've never really wondered, uh, you know, until recently why those notes and those flutes and such early uh, sonic frequencies were chosen by ancient people part of it could be because it's just a sonorous sound like if i'm going to play this and push my pedal down and just run that scale for f major pentatonic i've heard that in folk music i've heard it in asian music i've heard it on the harp a lot of harps have pentatonic tunings to them the acoustic harp not the blues harp and it's just a pleasant sound. I mean, you can kind of group any one of these things. Right. I'm just playing four note groups here. It's the one, two, three, five, six of a major scale. And it's a one, three, four, five, seven of a minor. Cause you always think from your root. If your root is D, then this is going to be, D is going to be the root of the scale. Now you can play these things as a lot of rock players do and come up with some really fast licks. You can go back and forth. And if you're not planning on going up further on the keyboard, you can play that A with it too. You can also just put your thumb anywhere on this scale. And that would explain a lot of like 80s and 90s rock stuff. That kind of a sound where they play that on the guitar or the synthesizer and pentatonics are a really popular scale. Now, when you get to something else like an E flat, uh, major scale that pattern is going to be a little different because of the black key in there so let me give you a quick one before we wrap up uh, for the e flat major pentatonic so here's my root and five I use those to find my tonality and i'm going to go two one two three 
two, three, two, one, two, three, two, uh, one again, two, one, two, three, one, and then two, one, two, three. We get that same kind of pleasant, like all encompassing, really happy sound in there. So just to sum this one up, you've got five fingers on your hand. I do not know the reason for that because music is mostly written in four, four and five plus five is 10. That doesn't divide very well into four, four time. It's pretty weird, but uh, you know, I didn't create human beings and their appendages. So you'll have to ask somebody else about that. But I like the fingerings, uh, you know, on white key pentatonics, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And that's, you know, backwards if you're going descending for D minor. I also like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. If it's in a two octave, uh, the black key one for E flat is two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one. And if you really want to be blown away by the first jazz guy to ever do massively incredible pentatonic stuff, Go watch Art Tatum play solo piano where he plays pentatonic scales faster than anyone in history with just his thumb and his index finger. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. So anyway, I hope that clears it up for you. It's uh, always a pleasure to see you. Don't forget to sub the channel and like the video. And uh, it's Rob Mullins here signing out. I'll see you on the next one.